Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. Take a look at this. I am super, super excited about this one right here, guys. This right here, if you're wondering, this is the Bob Sweep and this is a robotic vacuum. We're gonna get into all the details, show you what this thing can do. It just arrived, I'm super pumped about it. But before we unbox this thing and take a closer look, I just want to show you guys real briefly the small things that do matter. The company actually right on the box, now the big box that came in was right here, just slips in right into a cardboard box, which is right over here. But on the packaging list right here, guys, they have a little card and it says name, Bob Binsberg, date of birth, when you ordered it, and then it says weighs 7.6 pounds, height 4.2 inches. Definitely the small things that matter with companies, and that's really, really cool. So it's just kind of like baby announcement, and I think that is really, really cool. Alrighty guys, without further ado, let us go ahead and take a look at this guy here. Let's run a couple specifications. Of course, we'll look at the manual a little bit closer here, but I want to go over some of the main points this thing has. Now, this is a five in one vacuum, meaning that it mops, it vacuums, it sweeps, and also does UV sterilization for your floor. And then when it comes down to the battery level, comes down to 15%, it will automatically come back to its docking station and recharge. Absolutely fantastic. There's a bottom picture. Of course, we'll get close-up shots and all that fun stuff now. It does come in two colors. I ordered the rouge, red or rouge. And so that is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, right here, vacuuming a whopping 7,500 RPM turbo lift motor pulls dirt from the deepest limits of all carpet types. Sweeping, rotating full contact brush to trap hair combined with a squeegee style dust sweeper works simultaneously to clear a path with each efficient pass. Mopping, detachable mop follows the main sweeping system with a padded microfiber cloth shining the floor behind standard vacuuming. UV sterilizing. Ultraviolet lamp sterilizes as it navigates, leaving behind a sanitized surface. And also air purification. Mass flow, high efficiency, particle absorption. Hemp buff filter removes 99.99% of airborne particles, including mold, dust, dust mites, and viruses, cold, and flu. And as you guys can tell, my voice is a little bit raspy if you watch my review videos. It's because the weather has changed here in California and it screwed me up pretty good. Not to mention, <laughs> I've been needing to vacuum my house. Cleaning modes, we got auto, which is autopilot. We got quick clean mode, 30 minutes. Touch up mode, 15 minutes. And manual override, remote control for navigation to specific target areas. Very, very cool. Well, without further ado, guys, let's open this guy on up because I really want to take a closer look at it here. And it comes in a sweet box, again, with the handle. I'm gonna have to stand up for this one here. And let's go ahead and open that guy on up. Very, very nice, guys. Not sure if I open it up backwards, I don't believe so. I believe this is the top and then it lifts off of it. We have some of our cleaning cloths here, microfiber cloth. Looks like two microfiber cloths and something there. We'll get into all of this, don't worry about that. We have a nice little, looks like a brush unit here. Flathead screwdriver there. We have Bob's goodie bag here, which is right on there. That looks like all your manuals and what you need to know there. And then we lift off the carton here. Very nice, guys. Keeping it nice and protected here. And we have our Bob machine. Very, very cool, guys. Let's pull out the small stuff first and take a quick gander. We got our plug. We have what looks to be our remote control. And then we have our docking system, which is underneath Bob. So let's go ahead and take Bobby B right on out of here. Very, very nice, guys. Take a look at that. I'm just gonna set him out of the way real quick. And right underneath, we have our nice vacuum brush. And then we have below that, what looks to be maybe the sweepers or whatnot. We'll get into all that, don't you worry about that. And then we have our charging dock right here, which is the matching red color. And then it looks to be, we have a couple screws that are taped in to the bottom there. 
That looks to be it. I'm gonna lift that up just in case. Yep, that is it for the packaging. Let's put that aside and take a closer look. All right, here guys is our charging dock. Let's go ahead and just take that out and take a little gander here. Now this video, I don't want it to run too terribly long, so I'm not gonna be putting it all together on camera. If I run into any issues, I will let you know on camera. But a beautiful charging dock, take a look at that. Very, now that is a rouge color right there. That actually matches my wife's Nissan Rogue. It's Rogue or Rouge? I'm not really sure exactly, but that the name of the color, Rouge or Rogue. Anyway, very cool, we got that there. Our charging plug, if you're interested in the length of the charging plug, we'll go ahead and take a look at this real quick. And let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is a 100 through 240 volt, 50 through 60 hertz, 1.5 amp output, 24 volt, 1000 milliamp. And that is gonna be a nice long core. From this tip over here to this tip, we're looking at probably six feet easily. I'm 5'9", that's longer than my wingspan. So that's about a six foot cable plug there for your charging port for the dock here. Bob is out of the bag, and Bob is looking really good. That's a great looking color, by the way, guys. I definitely like that. We have the warranty card right here. When you adopted Bob through an authorized retailer, he will be insured. To activate Bob's warranty, register him on the website. All your information cards there, and then we have a quick start guide right here, which probably I'm gonna have to revert back to. I don't really like directions, but with technology like this, sometimes you need to know what you're doing and how to use it. Right here, we got a nice LCD display right here, guys. We'll be powering that on and taking a look. We got what looks to be the sensor up there. We have UV program mode, charge, start, little buttons there. And the back of it actually has a brush already in there. It's actually a black brush, as we can see right here. So you actually, with this unit, you get a purple one. Uh, which is either a replaceable one, and then the main one, I'm not exactly sure about that quite yet. Here are our UV lights right here, or I should say right here, I'm sorry. That is the U ultraviolet UV light. Protect your eyes and skin. So you don't wanna shine that on your eyes and skin, obviously, there. And then over here, it looks like right here in the corners is where you would mount your little side brush. So these little side brushes right here look like they mount right into place right there. I'm looking at a little picture. Hold the side brush with wings facing upward. Use a Phillips head screwdriver and the screw to attach the side brush in place. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are little screws that came with it. You would use the provided screwdriver and you would go ahead and screw that guy on right here in the corner and he would act as like a side sweeper that my guess is would probably sweep the dust into the area where you need to vacuum. Alrighty guys, anyway, we'll be setting that all up and taking a gander at it. Very nice structure of the vacuum all the way around. Back here it looks to be the filter area here, which is probably replaceable. Let's go ahead and push that. Yep, here we go there. Looks like that is either, oh no, that's our catch drawer there. And we might also have our filter in there or somewhere else, I'm not exactly sure quite yet, but that would just dump out the drawer releases. All right guys, as we can see here, I have attached the side brush right here. Again, provided screwdriver and provided nut right there. And something I wanna go over with in the instruction manual here, it's actually a very, very well done instruction manual. I was actually just reading that over off camera, obviously, and it's very, very well done, very well explained about cleaning procedures, and also about if you have dark carpet, Bob might actually think that it's something like an edge or like a rail, and it won't actually like clean that area. And so in that case, in the instruction manual pouch, which came with this, this is like a little care package here, and it has little blinder stickers for Bob, and you would put the stickers on top of the little sensors right here. Now there's four sensors here, 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 and here, and you would place those stickers right over there just in case if Bob is like moving and he's not cleaning the areas that you need him to. It's because, let me read right here, dark colored carpeting and certain floor patterns may seem like edges to Bob's ground detection sensors. And then you would just put these sensor stickers over the top 
and then you're good after that. Anyway, I won't get into everything that the manual does say, but it says, of course, if you go on vacation for a long time, you want to disconnect the battery, unplug the unit from the wall, the charger unit, and store it in a cool, dry place. You don't want to be draining that battery. But the battery is replaceable years down the road if you need to do that, and the battery is in this compartment right here. So the battery is inside there. Also, I noticed while I was reading off camera, here is our mop right here. Again, here's our mop attachment for Bob. And then this is also another filter right here for it. So we have two filters, one filter inside of it, and then another filter here, and then also a little goodie bag right here. And that contains those stickers, some extra nuts for the side brush, and all that good stuff. And then it also tells you how to clean it it kind of shows you a little routine that you want to do. You just want to make sure that the wheels are free and clear. And if the wheels are stuck, blow some air compressor duster in there. And then again, you have your brushes for here. Just clean that out with the provided brushes right here. And again, you have two brushes here. All right, so let's go ahead and fire this guy on up and let's put her on the ground. I wanna get this thing started here. Okay, so the quick start guide says, after the brush, after the side brush has been screwed on, switch on the button on Bob's sweeps side. So that button is right over here and it has, and the on and off switch actually has a little plastic covering to prevent the on and off switch during shipment. So you wanna remove that little plastic piece first. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip Bob on. A very nice guys, look at that beautiful LCD display right there, red and blue, and we have green for ready right there. I have the sun reflecting through my window, but as we can see there, very, very nice guys, the display. It says that it can turn on by, of course, the on button on Bob, or we're gonna go ahead and hit the auto button on our remote control. Auto button is right over here. Here again is our power button for the device. Let's go ahead and hit auto and see what Bob can do here. Alrighty, Bob, there we go. We gotta follow you, buddy. Hey, how about that, guys? How about that? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. I think he's doing what's called the um, waffle pattern, I think. The instruction manual says, hey, take a look at Bobby, huh? Oh, you're a good looking, you're a good looking vacuum, I'll tell you what, take a look at you, huh? Hey, he's cruising. He's cruising. As we can tell guys, a lot quieter than an actual vacuum. You actually could vacuum at midnight. Now I'm actually up in an upper level unit and I stay up fairly late. So I could actually get my house cleaned without having to disturb any neighbors. This is absolutely fantastic. As you can see here, very gentle. He bumped into the vase, but very gentle, very light tap. And Bob actually does a better job than myself. I always run into the edges of my entertainment units and you you know, you know get scratches when you're just jamming the vacuum under there. You know what I'm saying, guys? So he's just cruising around. He's having a good time, guys. Take a look at him, huh? All right, I got a mess on the floor over here, so let's see what he can do here. All right. I like that. Yeah, he's just cruising around a little bit. How about that side brush right there? Very, very nice. Again, very light bumps, but... It's not gonna do any damage, don't worry about that. All right guys, I'm gonna let him do his thing for a little bit and then we'll be back with you in a little bit. Okay, back with you guys real quickly here. He actually got up really nice and tight so he could get underneath the couch there and it used his little brush and it was absolutely phenomenal seeing him do it. So now we see, see? He got in real close there. Now he's going over carpet. Okay, let's see what he can do with this thing. So I got my, oh he's going, he's going for it. He's going for it, uh-oh, uh-oh. Looks like Bob got stuck. Now something I did notice now, my IKEA shelving entertainment unit is about the size of him. And he actually tried to go underneath and he got himself freed up. But one time I actually had to pull him out. So with very small gaps that he might be able to get stuck in because he wants to go underneath, that is something to keep in mind. So you might wanna put maybe like a couple magazines or something like that. Again, he freed himself but I, I had to go over there the first time 
and help him out. Let's go ahead and take a little look at him as he's going back over there real quickly here. As we can see, that level is about the size of him. Again, he just backed himself up after he kind of went under there, but you definitely have to be a little careful. See, there we go there. He went underneath. Now he's rotating slightly. And let's see if, he, if Bobby B can free himself. Oh, he turned it around. Oh, there he goes. All right, guys, so here is my wall adapter, my charging unit plugged into the wall here, and just use the cord wrap to make it look a little bit nicer there, and it depends on where you want to put it. Now, when it went back to its charging station, I hit charge, and it went back. Now, you want a clear room. You want a clear area. You probably might even need just a tiny bit more than this, but I'm just giving you guys an example in my hallway here, but this is enough room here. I did have my tripod over here, and it got a little confused how to do this big circle and then lined up straight with the prongs and then went in. I'll get a shot of that for the review, guys. But it was about 75% when it was shipped, and then I've been testing it around tonight, and I will be, of course, using it tomorrow as well. But now it is plugged in. It's been plugged in for about an hour, and, and now it had the little blinking lights, and it said actually charging in red, but now it is ready to go, and so we see a green ready there, and the bars are all constant. When the bars are flickering, that means it is charging. So now we are absolutely 100% ready to go for tomorrow, and we'll resume this review then. So guys, Bob has made a very nice transition here. We are now on carpet. As we can see right over here, he was on hardwood. He made the jump and went right along the edge of the door here. And then he went straight down over here. Of course, he's kind of doing his thing. And then he actually went on the tile of the bathroom. So he is actually doing a very nice transition. And I did notice a couple of tips and tricks that I will show you at the, towards the end of the video. But as you can see here, he's working around the IKEA little things that are down here, the little stands. And he's kind of just working around the edge. Now watch him. Let's see if he can, okay, so it looks like that's a little bit higher of a lip right there. He didn't do the adjustment right there. He might come back. We'll keep our eye on him. So here he is. Very nice, guys. He's actually getting underneath the lip of the Ikea. Let's see what he does over here with my wife's slippers. I think he'll probably just go right around it. Ah, push him out of the way, I guess. <laughs> so there we go. And as he's kind of getting up against there, Again, you might have to just go ahead and just pick up a couple items. Like my office over here, I'll probably keep Bob out of my office because it's kind of a mess right now. I got things all over the place right here. But again, we'll just keep our eye on Bob as he's kind of just doing his thing. Wandering around the house here. Now I do want him to come back in. See, we'll watch the transition here. Okay, so it looks like he's still cleaning that area there. Again, you can mess around with his parameters and all that fun stuff. Nice little counter clock on there. We are on five minutes of cleaning as Bob's just kind of going around there. It's kind of a real big mess around there, so let's see what he does. Nice little UV light right there as he's kind of working around the boxes there. Overall, guys, he's done a very nice job. And again, he'll just kind of push around the boxes because he thinks it's a wall. So, you know, if there's anything delicate on the floor, you might want to go ahead and remove it. Cause I got some camera equipment there up. Oh, Bob is pushing some things out of the way there. So this is an example of, you want to go ahead and remove some of these items here. Now I should probably keep Bob out of here, but he'll probably remove himself. But as you can see, he did a nice transition as he's coming back to the floor now. And again, I have an office chair there. Definitely uh, a lot of stuff lying around the house that I need to clean up, but I'm just kind of giving you guys an overall synopsis as he kind of works his way over here. Now, just like the directions do mention, Bob will go ahead and he'll clean in a different pattern than we typically would. He might do a zigzag thing. There's definitely some nice modes that he has. And after he's done with the quick release clip there, very easy to go ahead and just remove his dustpan. Let's see if he can do it right now. Oh, there he goes. Absolutely excellent, guys. Take a look at that. Very nice. If he does go up there by himself, again, that's a very small carpeted lip. If he does go up there himself, I'll get that on camera for sure. But take a look at this, guys. He's actually cleaning underneath this right here. 
and it's just tall enough where he doesn't get stuck. Now, as I did mention in the video, now he has a trigger where if he gets stuck underneath the IKEA furniture here, he will actually try to get out. Now, if he can't get out, he'll shut down, but he might try to work his way out a little bit. It might take some time. You know, the directions say you don't have to assist him. If you have to assist him, go ahead, I guess, but the whole point of a robot vacuum is to set it and forget it. So what I did in this circumstance, so he doesn't get stuck under there and just automatically shut off, especially if you just jump in the shower or something like that, I just put some magazines under the rails here. This particular IKEA entertainment center, he actually gets stuck underneath there, so you do have to be careful about that. And then also, this little hallway cupboard here, he gets kind of caught underneath there. It's just the perfect size for him to kind of get caught underneath. So, there are a couple things in your home you might have to bob proof or just set in the parameters. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Okay, it doesn't look like he's gone over there yet. Looks like that little lip is kind of scaring him there. We'll keep our eye on you though, Bob. Let's see what you do. Yeah, get underneath that bed there. Get that brush right under that edge of that bed. That's what we actually need, Bob. As he's going back across over there. Looking absolutely fantastic, guys. I'll let him run probably for about 20 minutes and then I'll show you what his little compartment looks like. We vacuumed probably about a week ago or so, so I'm very curious to see how much debris he gets caught up. All right guys, here's the moment of truth. I let Bob run for about 25 minutes, a little bit more than I wanted to, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got in the storage container here. Oh, uh, whoa, we got a lot. <laughs> and I'm talking about a lot of nasty stuff. Are you joking me? Where did he find all this stuff? That's disgusting. Disgusting. Look at that, guys. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry if the lighting is bad, but we just vacuumed a week ago. Where in the world? And we don't have any pets. Where did he find that nastiness? Okay, I got a brand new trash can. Let me dump it in and show you a little bit clearer of what's going on. That's nasty. This is when you can either take this straight down to the dumpster or, again, I'm going to carefully just bang it out. And I have no idea. And then some of that stuff you actually have to reach in there and grab. Unless you just want to like continue to bang it around a little bit. Oh, there we go. All right, guys, there it is right there, down there. There we go and all that. Now, the last feature I want to show you guys before we wrap up our review. Now, of course, there are so many cool features of this. It's just gonna take too long to get into every single one of them about wall follow spots. I, I did cover quite a few of them in the review, but I just wanna show you guys one of the main awesome features lastly. Let's go ahead and use the remote for this one. Now, as we can see, our docking station is all the way down here in the hallway here. And so guys, we're gonna go ahead and hit the return to home, also known as charge. Charge is right over here. So watch this, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it and he's just gonna do his thing. So, again, he's gonna spin around. It's gonna take him a little while because he's pretty far away from it, guys, but I'm just gonna kind of show you the basics now. He's not cleaning right now. He'll just bump into stuff until he actually senses it, until he goes home. So if this takes a little bit of time, I'll go ahead and, of course, edit this down. Okay, guys, I think he's onto it. Again, he'll search around because he's actually gonna dock himself. This is a great feature, so he has to line up just perfectly as he kind of crumbs around here and he's gonna latch on right onto his charging dock. And boom, charging. Take a look at that, guys. That is an absolutely great little feature there. And he is charging up right there. Again, I manually hit it, but if he does run out of juice during cleaning, he'll actually come back and have enough juice, save enough juice to self-dock himself without even me overriding him, telling him to go charge himself. Absolutely a great feature, guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the review video, and hopefully it has helped you make an informed decision, and definitely, definitely a cool, cool robotic vacuum. I was definitely impressed with it, because again, like I mentioned, we vacuumed a week ago. He ran for about 25 minutes and picked up a lot of stuff I didn't even see. I walk around the house with socks on, so I think I'm sweeping it around. He might have like used the brush to whip underneath the couch. I have no idea. He found it though, guys. He found it. Definitely an awesome job. Remote control. He's over back right over there charging, as you can see. We just saw him redock himself. That was absolutely fantastic. 
So if this review has helped you out in any possible way, shape, or form, a thumbs up in either the YouTube or Amazon platform, and also look in the description box for this exact same robotic vacuum link where you can read more about it and pick one up yourself. And you guys in the UK, I got you guys as well. Hopefully the company sells for you guys in the UK. If not, one very similar to that. So look for your UK link in the description box below as well. And subscribe because I got a lot more products being sent out, a lot more things to review. And you guys have a wonderful night. I'll see you in the next review. My name is Chris. Bye-bye.